Hi guys, it's Mike White with Baby Monkey Studios coming back with another tutorial. This time I'm going to talk about Xcart Webmaster Mode. It's a pretty basic subject for some of us, but if you're just getting started with Xcart, you really need to know, you know how to use Webmaster Mode and how to find the templates you want to edit um, and edit language variables within Webmaster Mode. So, you know, we're going to go to the Xcart back end, and of course you find this by just going to yoursite.com slash admin. But if you have Xcart in a directory, like a directory called Xcart, then it's going to be yoursite.com slash Xcart slash admin. And you just log in with your administrator username and password, which I've got saved in this instance, but I don't recommend that. This is just my test store. Okay, so I got some warning messages because this is an unlicensed site. But we're just going to go to Tools webmaster mode and I'm going to click on start webmaster mode and I should get a nice little pop-up and that's just pops up right in front of the, the the window and I like to move this over here it's gonna be off the screen a little bit but that's just so I don't lose it behind this background okay now if you don't get the pop-up you obviously have pop-ups blocked and you need to allow them for this site uh, in your browser software I'm not going to go over that there's so many browsers out there just uh, know that you need to have pop-ups allowed in order to get the debugging console, that's what this window is called, uh, to show up so that you can access it. Now you can use the debugging console to control and edit the admin side of Xcart, but we're going to look at the customer side because I think that's what most people are going to want to do. So let's click this little link right here, open customer area in a new window, and our debugging console is going to go away. It's going to open the front end of the site and pop the console up again. So I'm going to move it again over off the page. Now, you know, actually, shoot, let's look at it right here. So, you know, you can tell, let's zoom in a little bit, that this debugging console is having some kind of effect on the main page. And so by scrubbing, you know, up and down over these, I can see these different sections pop up. Um, and a little black, you know, box is, is wrapping around them to indicate that that template controls that section. You can also see the hierarchy of the templates. You know, so if this is common files home.tpl, then these templates underneath it are most likely contained or referenced for the first time in home.tpl. Um, here's a great example, you know, customer main welcome.tpl, and then I've got main featured.tpl. Let me scroll down. Main feature.tpl is inside main welcome.tpl. So if I wanted to get rid of this featured template and not have it show up on the home page, well, I would need to go to welcome.tpl in order to comment out or remove that main feature.tpl. Now I've got a, a good example of what I want to do here today. A um, uh, question was asked on the forum about getting rid of the left bar. Now if I wanted to edit some of the menus on the left bar and say move them from the left to the right hand side, um, you know I would click on this left bar.tpl and, and it takes me right to it so that I can edit that. But if I wanted to completely remove the left bar, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but we can go and look and see where this left bar is being called. Now if we just scroll up here we can see there's common files customer slash content dot tpl I do know that that's where it is but you know if you didn't know you can kinda get a feeling for that by just seeing that it's it's highlighting right up here and it seems like it's gonna affect this whole area okay so it's affecting the left the middle and the right side of the site so I'm gonna click on that and that's where you start losing your debugging console it'll pop to the back and then you won't be able to find it again so just you know go pull it over here to the side and right down here, you know, we can see here's the central space. That's an HTML comment. And we're going to scroll down here. And the central space ends. And then here we have, uh, you know, an if statement that's wrapping both of these. But right here, div ID equals left bar, include file equals customer left bar dot TPL. Now I can just delete this whole section. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and comment out the entire div and the include statement and um, just click save. Okay, so I'm going to close that window and go back to the front of the site and hit refresh. And we will see that left bar is now gone. Of course, you know, now you'd want to edit the CSS for this central space uh, to move it over here and get rid of this left margin or adjust it somewhat. 
Okay, so real quick, let's look at another use of Webmaster Mode. Uh, as you've probably noticed, when you're in Webmaster Mode, you see all the text on the site turned green. And you'll see this wherever there's a language variable used. And language variables can be edited through the admin side, but in Webmaster Mode, you can also edit them right on the screen. So, you know, let's say we wanted to change this text. You know, new special offers are available. Let's just make it new special offers are here. And as you see, you know, it just pops up in a little window and allows you to edit right here. And then you can click save. And it updates it right here. Now, if we were to visit this, you know, in another browser that wasn't part of this session, we actually wouldn't see the change until we exit webmaster mode. See, it says, you know, I visited another browser and it still says new special offers are available. So to actually make our changes permanent, we have to go back. It's open a new window here. We go back to the admin side and we hit close webmaster mode. And now if we come out and refresh the page, our change is there. And if we were to visit it from another browser, we would see that change as well. Okay, so I've got one more thing to show you with webmaster mode. And I'm, you know, started the mode again. I'm just going to go back over to my other window and refresh it. Get my debugging console back up here. Now, since we removed this left bar, you know, we can't see our categories anymore. And so, you know, perhaps you'd want to add, you know, some categories to another template. And we can figure out um, what variables we would need to pull together in order to add those categories by looking in the debugging console. Let's take a look. If we click on the Show Variables button, then we get all the variables that are being called on this page. I'm going to zoom in a bit here if it'll let me. And you know, if we go down through here, I just I know where it is, but you can obviously you know do a find and search for the variable that you're looking for. But this is the one that I want: Categories Menu List. So you know you can see that it's an array and it has some subarrays here with lots of information about each category but what I'm going to pay attention to the most is category name right here so that would be categories menu list dot category or um, and the category ID and so let me show you how to use these variables now that you've discovered uh, the variables that you want to affect let's use them so let's switch back over here to our show templates and I'm just going to go to this main welcome.tpl. And I'm just going to hit enter a few times here, give myself some space, and do a heading for our new section. And you'll learn a little smarty language right now. We'll just do dollar lang dot label underscore categories. Okay. And that's the language variable for the whatever you have categories set up for in your store and then you know we're gonna start some some code so you know what what we're gonna do is is do a for each and usually before I even finish my for each I like to come down here and make sure I close it off okay and we're gonna be doing a list and so I'm gonna do ul and slash ul oops but I put those inside the for each and that's not what I want what I'm hoping to do is just start my list outside the for each tags. But inside the for each, I'm going to put Lee and then an anchor because I'm going to do links to each category. And I just happen to know it's home.php question mark cat equals. And I'll leave myself, I'll leave myself some space there and in my anchor tag and I'm going to put it some more space there because we're going to figure out what we need to put in there by looking at the debugging console and you know here we already know let me pull that that console up again I'm going to go back to the home page and refresh it you know this, the console is is paying attention to the latest page that's been refreshed and I'm going to go down here to the categories menu list and just copy that variable right there. So this is the array that I want to loop through with my for each statement. So I'm going to do for each from equals. 
Smarty is just like talking to your buddy. Item equals cat. Okay. So what that's going to do is it's going to loop through the array categories menu list and each instance or iteration that it finds in that uh, array it's going to make it dollar cat okay so i can do use that now in my code so i'm going to put dollar cat okay and then i want to append the um, category id for the link okay so i'm just going to put category lots of typos id let me make sure that's right. Yep, that's exactly how it is. And then close my quotation there and get rid of my extra space. And so now in between each one of these links, I want to have the category name. So I'm going to just do it the same way. And we have uh, category is what that is called. So we can just copy this, paste it here and get rid of this ID and I didn't get my last curly brace so just like that so what this should do is you know it opens an unordered list and then for each uh, category that it finds it should echo out the uh, the link to the category and the category name okay so let's save that and see what effect it has we'll come back here to the home page and refresh and these changes are instantaneous. When you change a template, you don't have to close webmaster mode. I'm going to go ahead and do that just so we can get rid of the nasty green. And you can see how it works. So look, it's looping through all the, uh, the categories just like we expected. Okay, well, I hope this has been very informative for you guys. And um, I think that you f probably fully understand webmaster mode now. I wish you luck in all your e-commerce efforts. Have a great day.